All right. Good morning, RC fans and the scale curious. Um, so I pretty much, the course isn't done. It never is, right? But it's to the point now where it's usable and I can actually take a break from it for a couple days. Hi, dog. What? You heard me talking? I thought I was talking to you? You big suck. <clears throat> so what I was going to talk to you about real quick, well, Molly pants at me ferociously. Um, I do have like a scoreboard thingy. <clears throat> um, so you're sitting in the GoPro and you're just on the headrest or on the head mount thing because that's what I'm going to be filming with in a bit when I run the truck. But I just wanted to go over what I got going on right here just for a quick sec. <clears throat> there you have, uh, so you get your name and yeah, you got uh, the guys who've run it before. This is for outside before. There's Chris of Boom Racing, Jay of Asia Tees, Parker, yeah, that Parker. Uh, Parker's the only one that completed it. He got a 501 and a 436. He did well. So you back up plus one. I don't know if that, that's more or less for outside. I don't know if I'm going to use that in the micros. We'll see. So a rollover is just, uh, I figure out you're probably better looking at me than the score sheet. So a rollover, <clears throat> uh, a tr that's when your, well, your truck rolls over and you can self-correct it, which is down further down the list. But in a rollover, you don't lift the truck up. So I'll just grab this guy. So if your truck is like this and it's on its side, you can only roll it back to its wheels. Even if you wanted to go the other way, you'd now be way over there, right? So you can't, you can roll it any way you want, but you can't slide the truck. You can't lift the truck. You can only roll it over. And then, oh yeah, no endos. You can't endo the thing. There's none of that. So if you're rolled over, like you want to flip it that way, no. You can only roll it, uh, barrel roll it, I guess it would be the thing to say. See what else we got on here. A repo. If you roll it over or you can't make it through a spot or you fail and you can't self-correct and you can't get a rollover because sometimes if you roll over, you're in the same spot that you rolled over from and the truck just falls over again. So you have to get a repo. Your rear tires have to go back to the last cones or pylons or gate, wherever you want to call them that you went through. Now self-correct, I have that on there as a minus five. Oh, the repo is a plus 10 or, or hitting a gate is a plus 10. Self-correct is a minus five. I put that in there. I don't know if anybody else does. These aren't set to anybody else's rules. I kind of took the stuff that they do on Friday nights at Cody's place. They used to be Crawler Ted's years ago. Then I went to PM Hobby and then I went to Cody's place and I think it's still there. I, I'm pretty sure it's still there. <laughs> um, anyway, I basically took the rules, but I changed it to not a point system. Well, there's still points, but it's based more on time than it is the points. Because they do something called progress where I think you're minus two every time you clear a gate. I don't have that. Mine's purely set up on time and then punishment for everything that you do wrong. And then the self-correct is a minus five. So if you roll your truck over and you can throttle your way out of it and get yourself back upright, you just minus yourself five points, which is equivalent to five seconds, right? Because your points get turned into time at the end. And then a bonus. I have a bonus. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, actually, scratch that. I'll show you the bonus in a minute because I'm going to go over the course. So I think that was it. I do have some rules written down. Just to make sure, roll over, truck doesn't leave the ground, no windows, reposition, tires, rear tires to the last pylon, self-correct. Cones are directional, yeah. So <clears throat> I'm about to show you with the camera, but the cones are facing, I think I mentioned this in the other video too, but the cones are facing, the numbers on the cones are facing a certain direction. And you must drive through that direction, face, you face the numbers as you go through. You cannot back through the cones. And once you progress through the gate and you're done with it, those cones are now dead. I was thinking about leaving them live and I might for other other uh, competitions or something like that. Or if I have someone like Rookie or Joe over because they're highly experienced drivers. Um, yeah, I'll punish those guys by saying, no, the cones stay alive. So if you go through something and you have to self-correct or you have to correct your direction to get to the next cone and you back into the cone you just cleared, 10 points. Yeah, I'm a jerk. I like it. That's about it for score keeping. That's going to be tough for me to do today. I think I'm just going to run through it. You guys can keep score at home if you want. I'm just going to say it out loud if I hit a cone or every time I back up. I don't think I'll be doing backup today. It's getting warm in here because I'm talking. I'm getting excited. Okay. So <clears throat> give me a moment here now. Okay. So there's the start. The good old letter S. You're going to come up the wood. Down on a little piece of foam into some lava and sticks. Now there's cones two, or cones one. Now they're only in this area to stop you from circumventing the course. Cause you only have to go through the cones. You don't have to go through the entire course exactly from straight line cone to cone. You can vary off. If you think you can hit a cone at a better angle or something like that as we go along, then by all means do it. 
<clears throat> you're annoying, but you're so pretty. Look at that nose. Look at that snout. You're so pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, stop it. Hey, so traveling along. Now this course, this section of the course, this big piece on the bottom was part of another one. I separated it. You can kind of see the color change, but I just, I screwed some pieces down. Molly, get out of here, go. I screwed some pieces down and lightly glued them in place with Gorilla Glue. It should hold, it's only micros driving on it, right? So get up the edge here too. There's a little pit up there, hopefully screw you up. So here's the thing now. You go into cone three, you could go off to the side here on number two, ha, and then try and side hill it through there or stay high or bucket to the right here and then go up on top of this little mountain and come down through three. Four is right here. Now there's all kinds of places to go. That's the greatest thing. Nice thing about having cones and stuff like that is like you can take these cones and move them over there or whatever. Uh, there's the new crotch over there. Five is going to be a side hill. Oh, there's my bonus. A little zombie chick heard twist it up in the middle. This is the only way she'll stand up. I can probably make her stand up the other way, but I thought it looked cool with her feet backwards and shit. So yeah, you knock her down and that's your uh, 10 point bonus. Minus 10 points. So over to this section, there's a uh, six. So, and six, I, bit of, I was a bit of a dick with seven. So there's seven there. So you could think your way through this one, but after you go through here, you can go down to the floor and come back. I'm sorry, I should follow my finger. You could go down through the floor, to the floor, and then come back up and down through seven that way. Or you could actually go through six to the floor and come back this way. Go across this stuff and then and then go through down seven that way. Here's eight. And I've done that side hill before, I believe, on video. So I definitely wanted to include it in there. So you get the side hill there. And then you can, again, you can dump down instantly to the floor and come back up for nine. Which you actually, you pretty much have to do that. So yeah, uh, to go through nine. And then the little my little pit at the end and then off to the finish line so there's 10 cones and again there's no it's not based on time it's oh yeah it's based on time not points although there is punishment points i'll convert the points to time later uh let's see is there anything else i should tell you before i give this a go i'm gonna do it with all three trucks today i found the remote for well it's actually the light is green now too so it's ready to go i'm gonna hit it with this guy first the losi trekker it's been a long time since I've driven this thing. I couldn't find the battery anywhere. I take the top off and lo and behold, there's a freaking battery in it. So it's a little 250 mile LiPo. I can see if I can make the whole course with it because both the truck and that LiPo are quite old. And then uh, after that, I think I'll use the Axial and it's just going to crush it. And then uh, the Kyosho, my personal favorite at the moment. A little smudge on there. Hopefully that didn't affect the video. Okay, here, hold on. You're going on my skull. Hopefully that view is good. It's alive. So <clears throat> this thing is probably the furthest from stock of any of the trucks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So it's got aftermarket wheels from my claw. Grabbers? Little grabbers? Sure. So <clears throat> I got you on the head cam just because I want to keep not a true time. I guess a true time. I'm going to edit this as little as possible if I have astronomical failures or anger that set in or if the view's terrible i really hope the view's coming in good okay let's give this a go i'll try and stay low i think i may have hit that cone but i'm not sure i'm gonna say no for now ha <laughs> I find I have little steering. Ah, well, should be fine. I'm gonna go high on this one. You can hear those tires grip. Nice. So I gotta be careful because that cone is still alive right there. I uh, droop suspension, I got weight in the wheels, upgraded servo, upgraded tires, weight on top of the servo I think I have as well. So this thing's weighted up pretty good. Little tracker doing it. Oh, I'm going to hit that cone. 
Okay, so I got one cone. Oh, one backup. One cone, one backup. Two backups. Oh, that's a torque twisty little bugger. Um. Okay. Oh no! Self recover minus five. Oh, uh, geez. Let's say four backups. That's five. <laughs> Just a guess. So I need a scorekeeper. Come on. I'm not going to make this corner. Uh, six backups? Seven backups? Oh, two cones. Oh yeah, that cone, some of them, yeah, I'm kind of glad I did this. Some of the cones don't want to stay in place, so you can put toothpicks down. Oh, baby. No problem. All right. How long was that? I don't know how long I talked, but the video is at four minutes now. So I'm going to take a quick break, or not a break. I'm going to take a moment and just look at the footage and not change the... Here, let's lock that up. I got the angle of the camera basically set in stone there now. I just tightened it up. That's what that little noise was that you might have heard. Um, I'm going to see what it was like. Actually, sorry, my brain's all over the place. I don't smell anything. Scared to touch it though. <laughs> yeah. Some things don't change. That's really hot. And I tried to buy one of those little temperature sensors at uh, Action, but I guess they don't sell them anymore. The guys who made them stopped making them. I forget what the reason was, but yeah. I couldn't get myself one of those uh, temperature things, but yeah, that is a hot freaking motor. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna check the footage to make sure I had the truck in camera the whole time. I think I should have just because of how far away I was from it. Like it being on my head, I'm three feet from the truck with a GoPro. It's gonna feel like 30 feet, right? So yeah, just give me a moment. I'll check that and then uh, we're gonna fire up the axle. 